And while the DOJ acts as the personal legal defense team for the president, the House is actually investigating Biden over many serious allegations. Three people leading the investigation. Join us now. Joining us now, Chairman of the House Judiciary Committee, Jim Jordan, Chairman of the House Government uh, Oversight and Accountability Committee, James Comer, and the Chairman of the House Ways and Means Committee, uh, Jason Smith, is with us. Thank you all. Jim Jordan, let me start with you. I keep hearing from the media mob and Democrats and the White House, but, but there's no evidence, none at all. Uh, you have a list of evidence. I think you could probably go on for the next 10 minutes giving us evidence. Yeah, I'm going to try to go to the central evidence. I'm going to go to the transcript that we just had of the deposition of Hunter Biden's business partner, Devin Archer. We asked him this question. I got it right here, Sean. The request was from the United States government to deal with the pressure they were under from their prosecutor. Devin Archer's response to that question was correct. Next question. What did Hunter Biden do after he got that request? Devin Archer's answer, he called his dad. Which begs the real question, what then did Joe Biden do? Joe Biden, five days later, after this happened on December 4th, 2015, Joe Biden gets on a plane, flies to Ukraine, and starts the process to fire the prosecutor, the very guy they asked him to go after because he was applying the pressure. And they don't stop there, Sean. After they get that guy fired, the next prosecutor, they work on making sure he drops the charges against the Burisma executives that Hunter Biden was working for. If that's not a corrupt, influence-peddling scheme, I don't know what is. And that's exactly what Professor Turley called it today in our hearing. James Comer, let's go over the evidence, and there's a lot of it, uh, to sum up the biggest evidence that you and your committee, and you, you had a great couple of lines in an opening statement today that I think everybody needs to see. Uh, talking about the bank records. Tell everybody watching right now, what evidence do you have? We have bank wires that show that Biden's took $20 million from foreign nationals in at least five different countries. They can't say one thing they did to earn that $20 million. We also have evidence that they started 20 shell companies. They used these shell companies to receive the wires from the foreign nationals. And then according to the banks in the 170 different suspicious activity reports, those were the bank violations, they then took those wires through the shell companies and laundered them down to the Biden family, to nine different Biden family members in incremental payments. That shows money laundering. Uh, that shows a lot of problems with respect to influence peddling. And it's interesting, Sean, in your monologue, you showed the clip from Dan Goldman. He admitted that the Biden family was influence peddling. And, and, and he admitted that Joe Biden lied. And he's, you know, that's was really the basis for our first hearing to justify why we're going to impeachment inquiry and to prove that Joe Biden lied over a dozen times about his knowledge and involvement in his family's business schemes and, and to prove that this family was influence peddling. And I think every American has a problem with the fact that our president's family was selling access to him to our enemies around the world. All right, so we have shell corporations, we have 170 suspicious activity reports, um, and we have nine family members that you have identified having been paid. And you believe at the end that this is going to go north of maybe $50 million for the Bidens alone? Well, we've got to get to Jim Biden, and that's why today I signed the subpoenas to uh, subpoena Jim Biden's personal bank accounts. He's flown under the radar because, quite frankly, he didn't leave a laptop laying around. But uh, we know from people we've talked to, uh, from evidence uh, in emails and text messages, that he, too, was just as involved in, as Hunter. Uh, Byron Donald showed that text message today from Jim Biden to Hunter Biden when Hunter was going to rehab again. He said, don't worry, I'll work with your dad. We'll finish those deals. I mean, there's overwhelming evidence that Joe Biden was involved in all of these shady business schemes. That's a problem. Yeah. That's a threat to our national security. And today we rehashed and went over all the different items of evidence and we announced the subpoenas. We're going to continue to move forward and follow the money. Jason Smith, the House Ways and Means Committee, uh, you have an important role in all of this investigation. Your, all of your investigations seem to run in tandem. What have you learned about Joe Biden, his family? Uh, never mind, it all started with lies. And the fact is, 
he met with and talked to many foreign business partners and, and even had dinner with a Russian oligarch and other you know, business partners at Cafe Milano. Doesn't sound like a guy that never talked to his son, brother, or anybody for that matter about business. What have you learned of the House Ways and Means Committee? That's exactly right, Sean. In fact, yesterday, the House Ways and Means Committee released over 700 pages of documents that we received from the IRS whistleblowers. And in those documents, Sean, we, we know that, that President Biden was aware of his son's business dealings, but these documents prove that he was connected to his son's business dealings through emails, through phone calls, through um, dinners at the White House, to foreign trips on Air Force Two. We also know that Hunter Biden and his associates have business contacts in 23 verified different countries, bringing in more than $20 million, which he didn't pay taxes on a big part of that amount. But we also know, Sean, that there was such obstruction that that there was not only obstruction in investigating Hunter Biden, but there was obstruction in investigating investigating President Joe Biden. There was a count where Joe Biden was mentioned in a search warrant and the Justice Department made his name be taken out of the search warrant. We also know that the IRS investigators thought that they should pursue campaign finance violations. And guess what? The Justice Department said under wow. no circumstance, go into Joe Biden. Yeah. Uh, last, Jim Jordan, you have four facts that never change. What are yeah. they? Uh, Hunter Biden gets put on the board of Burisma. Fact number two, he's not qualified to be on the board. He said so himself. Fact number three, Burisma executives ask him to weigh in and relieve the pressure. Fact number four, Joe Biden does just that. Weighs in, relieves the pressure. And that last fact is entirely consistent with what the confidential human source told the FBI. And they recorded it in the 1023 form. And then the final fact is... The Justice Department tried to sweep it under the rug. This, Sean, this is a tale as old as time. Politician takes actions that benefit his family financially, and then they try to conceal it. All right. That is as old as the hills, and that That's is exactly question. what looks like played out. Am I correct in describing this as the Joe Biden bribery money laundering scandal allegations? Uh, yes or no, Jim Comer? Yes. Jason, yes or no? Absolutely. Jim Jordan, yes or no? That sure looks like what the facts are pointing to, Sean. That's why we're doing this. Thank you for sharing your time and your information with the American people that are being lied to by the media every single day and by the Democratic Party. We appreciate it.